My new boyfriend is great. Too bad I'm the only one who can see him. I never believed in ghosts. I guess I changed my mind after attending my own funeral. I asked my daughter why she sleeps belly down with her face in the pillow and when she said it's because she scares her, I asked her what she was talking about. The lady floating on the ceiling that watches me every night, she answered. My girlfriend jumped two things because of me. The first was her period. When I told her I didn't want kids, the second one was the walkway of the bridge. My wife found a jacket belonging to another woman and threw me out of the house. I didn't notice the girl didn't have it on while I was burying her in my backyard. I love babies, but I can't stand children. That's what I said to the detective when he asked me why I killed my son on his fourth birthday. I think it's cute my daughter has an imaginary friend, or at least I thought so, before she told me his name is Daniel and he's always soaking wet. We never told her about her brother Daniel who drowned the year before she was born. I have nothing for dinner. The girl escaped from the basement. My boyfriend will never call me a bitch again. It's hard to talk when someone cuts your tongue out. The breakup with my girlfriend killed me. She still has my heart. It's in a vase in her closet. My wife is crying desperately and doesn't listen to a single thing I say, trying to comfort her. She's focused on the earth covering my casket. My best friend stabbed me in the back. They had to remove one of my lungs. I broke two things with my girlfriend. The first one was my condom. When she told me she was pregnant, the second one was her neck. When I was just a little girl, I liked talking to an imaginary friend. I stopped doing it the day he responded. You cannot leave me, my wife screams, crying. We promise to love each other till death do us part. You're right, I smile at her and shoot her in the head. I woke up at 4 a.m. last night, thirsty, and I reached for my bottle of water on the night table, but being half asleep I knocked it over instead and it rolled under my bed. I searched it in the dark, trying to fill it with my hand, but what I grasped was another hand. My husband told me, I'm leaving you and you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. He was wrong, his skull makes a perfect ashtray. My wife doesn't talk to me. Then again, it'd be a weird thing for a corpse to do. When I hear daddy crying because mommy won't talk to him, I scream at mommy to stop ignoring daddy. Mommy screams at me to stop pretending daddy's still alive. I cooked a stew for the neighbors because they're worried sick about their daughter who's been missing for five days. I'm gonna wait till they finished it to tell them they just ate her. When my daughter come running into the house, telling us she saw a boy sleeping in our shed, her mother scowls and tells her, you're too old to make up stuff, go to your room. When we're alone, she scowls at me and tells me, I told you to get rid of the body last night. I'm horrified when I see my daughter lying next to her mother, embracing her. I didn't think she was tall enough to climb into the casket. (laughs) 
It's in the dustiest books that you may find in the best stories.